challenges to our Constitution, to America as we've known it, to our Judeo-Christian heritage, to prayer, to the Ten Commandments, to God himself are evident all around us. What's often not clear or known, ladies and gentlemen, are the specific strategies used by, I would call them, various termite ideologies that sneak in unawares with the goal of undermining and destroying the foundations upon which our nation and leadership of the free world exist. One unknown and dangerous tactic being used by these termite ideologies is a goal by certain global companies working in participation with certain religious agencies to transform key conservative states in this nation by attacking and undermining selected small towns in rural America. And to talk about his research is Leo Homan. He is the news editor of World Net Daily and author of an excellent book, Stealth Invasion, Muslim Conquest Through Immigration and Resettlement Jihad. Leo Homan, welcome to Stand on the Gap today. Thank you so much, Sam. I'm delighted to be with you today. Well, Leo, you do a good job. You get involved in a lot of key issues. You uh, that part of your role there as a researcher, as a uh, investigative journalist uh, for World Net Daily. But I pulled out one article that you just released just a couple of days ago. And before I get into that, because that ties into it, I do want you to share just a bit about your book, Stealth Invasion, where you connect Muslim conquest of America with immigration and resettlement efforts in a jihad, and that's the way you connect it there. I'm going to ask you this question generally before we get right into the meat of your uh, article, and that is this. How far along in this under-the-radar strategy to bring America to its knees is this Islamic strategy of jihad invasion? This something, this part that you're going to describe a little bit that's happening that is not on the news. How far along is it? Uh, it's well advanced, Sam. Unfortunately, I have to tell you that. Uh, it's, it may be even more well advanced than I thought it was when I was researching for the book last year. And, and as you know, the book came out in uh, January of this year. Um, if you look at the Muslim population in America, it's, it's relatively small. It's about 2%. And you, when you hear that, you think, well, how advanced could this jihad uh these resettlement jihads be. When I say jihad, by the way, most people think violent terrorism. That's not what I'm speaking about, although that does come with it eventually. And we're already seeing the first seeds of that. But, but it's a civilization jihad that in, the, in the way that it starts out. Uh, and the Muslim Brotherhood talks about this in, in the document, uh, the explanatory memorandum. They talk about establishing settlements in the U.S. and establishing the uh, intellectual and theological basis for Islam in this country, which, as you know, we really have no history of that here. Uh, and, and in 1965, as recently as 1965, we still had almost no history of that here. I think there was like 100,000 Muslims in the entire country uh, around 1965, 1970. So all of what we see today has happened really since uh, 1970. Uh, the Muslim Brotherhood uh, leaders first started visiting this country in around the mid-1960s, I believe, is when uh, Saeed Qutb from Egypt made a trip here and um, uh saw America as fertile, ripe ground for civilization jihad. He's considered the father of civilization, modern civilization jihad uh, in, in the, among the Islamic leaders today. And uh, we're to the point now where even though there's 2% population, which that is a huge amount when you figure that it was 0% back in 1965, it would have been less than, you know, 0.2%. You know, it was just almost not even measurable. So from, you know, in just 40, 50 years, uh, we have gone from 0% to 2%. So while that is a big gain, the, the amount of influence that the Muslim Brotherhood has in this country has far outgained the, the population rise uh, to the point where we have Muslim Brotherhood operatives inside, embedded inside of our government at the uh, state and local, I mean, at the state and federal level. Uh, and we're going to start seeing it now 
even growing at the local levels. And that's what these this article really, uh, that ties into the article that you talked about uh, that I wrote this week uh, about the meatpacking industry and the uh, Lutheran social services, uh, the church groups that are helping foment and speed up the civilization jihad to the point where we will soon have entire towns run by uh, Islamic extremists. 